Welcome to the XML document format module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain XML document formatting. XML is a standards-based way of structuring and communicating data. It was developed by the World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C. Many Junos OS automation tools make extensive use of XML to exchange data. Both the Junos OS CLI and the Junos OS infrastructure communicate using XML. When an operational mode command is entered in the Junos OS CLI, the CLI converts the command into XML format for processing. After processing the command, the Junos OS returns the output in an XML document, which the CLI converts back into a readable format for display. Remote Junos OS automation applications can use XML-based data encoding to perform operational and configuration operations. The Junos OS XML API provides an XML equivalent for all statements in the Junos OS configuration hierarchy and most operational mode CLI commands. Each operational mode command with a Junos OS XML counterpart maps to a request tag element and, if necessary, a response tag element. XML is a standards-based way to structure and communicate information. It looks similar to HTML because it uses tags in a similar fashion. XML tags communicate information about the data contained between the tags. XML documents are strictly hierarchical, so opening and closing tags showing the start and end of the data, to which an XML tag applies, must always be present. This is not always true in HTML. XML data representing the course name between opening and closing tags is shown. The XML data is formally identified as a text node, while the full construct, including the tags, is an element node. This example shows two methods that are used to represent a level of an XML hierarchy when no data is present. In some cases, there is no data to put between the opening and closing tags for a particular level in an XML hierarchy. In this case, you can combine the opening and closing tags using XML shorthand notation. The beginning of an XML document that represents the course name is shown. The root level of the document is an element node named course. All content for the course falls between the opening and closing tags. Next, a few new sections are defined in the XML document to organize the course modules. Next, a few subsections are defined. As you can see, using XML, you are able to represent the hierarchical structure of the course. You can add extra information to any of these elements and also add extra elements. XML namespaces are used to guarantee uniqueness for element names and data values in an XML document. An XML document namespace is defined using the XMLNS attribute. Defining a unique document namespace is recommended because XML document data is commonly collected and merged into larger data sets and applications. Each document's unique namespace greatly reduces the probability of an element name or element value collision when the data is merged. In the example XML document, the course element node and all nodes that are within the course element node share the same namespace. The same XML document can use elements defined using different namespaces. In the example, the main namespace is http colon double slash xml dot example dot com slash cbt but anything beginning with the graphics identifier uses a different namespace defined as http colon double slash xml dot example dot com slash graphics anyone using the xml document can identify which elements use which namespaces People like the flexibility of XML and use it to represent all types of data using their own unique XML data structures. With this flexibility comes a question. If any type of data can be organized in an XML hierarchical structure, how do computers or people know how to interpret the XML document? 
An XML schema definition or XSD document is a file that ensures that everyone working with an XML document is using a standard set of tags to communicate information. The XSD is what makes the XML document meaningful. XSD, like XML, is a standard developed by W3C. XSD documents are themselves XML documents using a specific structure defined in the W3C standard. An example of a simple XSD file is shown. You can see how complex XML type root type is defined, containing a sequence of elements named device name, interface count, and date created. Each element type is defined to be either a string, an integer, or a date. Using the XSD file in the example, a valid XML document matching the XSD file contains a root element named root, with nested elements device name, interface count, and date created. Of course, many other documents that use the same schema definition can also be created. Welcome to the XML in the Junos OS module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain how Junos OS uses XML. The Junos OS CLI communicates with the underlying Junos OS infrastructure using XML. The Junos OS software natively supports XML for configuration and operation of the device. Junos OS administrators can leverage this fact to interact with Junos OS software using scripts, automation systems, and other tools. When you are using the Junos OS CLI, you are using a program that makes requests to the Junos OS infrastructure. The communications between the CLI and the Junos OS infrastructure are translated to XML. In the example, you can see the show route active path command converted to a request in the form of a short XML document. You can use the pipe display XML RPC modifier in a CLI command to see the equivalent XML Junos OS remote procedure call. The element within the RPC and slash RPC tags is the actual Junos OS remote procedure call, or RPC. The Junos OS infrastructure returns the requested information to the Junos OS CLI process in the form of an XML document. The Junos OS CLI process then transforms the XML into plain text and displays this information to the user in standard Junos OS CLI format. You can see the original Junos OS infrastructure XML response to a Junos OS CLI command by using the pipe display XML modifier at the end of a Junos OS CLI command. The Junos OS configuration can also be represented in XML. To view a device configuration in XML format, use the show configuration pipe display XML command. The example shows a portion of the Junos OS configuration displayed in XML hierarchical format. Junos OS XML schema definition, XSD files, that define all possible device configuration options and all operational commands and their output are published for every Junos OS release. Archived XSD files can be downloaded from the Junos OS XML API download site. Juniper releases two files for each Junos OS release. For example, for Junos OS version 20.2, the config 20.2.xsd file, which contains the configuration XSD, and the operational command 20.2.xsd file, which contains the operational data XSD. Use the schema for the version of Junos OS that you are running. The configuration XSD can be generated from a Junos OS device. Using a network configuration protocol or netconf session with a Junos OS device and an XML document similar to the example, an XML schema language representation of the entire configuration hierarchy can be generated. The XML document contains a get XNM information tag element 
and the type and namespace tags with the indicated values within a tag element. A Junos OS XML document namespace can be used to identify the version of the XSD to use to interpret an XML document. In this example, schema for Junos OS 20.2 should be used. Using a schema definition for a different Junos OS version may work when interpreting a document, but it is not the best practice. Welcome to the Navigating XML Using XPath module. By the end of this module, you should be able to explain how to use XPath to navigate a Junos OS XML document. Because XML is applied in a wide range of use cases, XML defines a document object model, or DOM, to ensure XML documents are parsed consistently. Different parts of an XML document are represented as nodes. Some common XML node types are shown here. These XML node types are explained in detail next. An XML element node consists of matching opening and closing tags, and any data appearing between those tags. An element node may contain additional nested data, including additional elements. Element nodes can be nested multiple levels deep. An XML document can only contain one root element. In this example, configuration is the XML document root element. A root element node is only a child element of a document node. Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformations, or XSLT, Style Sheet Language Alternative Syntax, or SLAX, Python, and other automation programming languages that interact with the Junos OS using XML use Extensible Markup Path Language, or XPath. XPath is a standard way to identify and locate elements in an XML document. XPath's expression syntax enables you to define complex matching criteria for elements in an XML document. XML element nodes in XPath are viewed as being arranged along certain axes. An ancestor axis points from a node up through its series of parent nodes. A child axis points down the list of an element node's direct child nodes. The attribute axis points through the list of an element node's set of attributes. The descendant axis contains all the descendants of a node. A sibling relationship means that two elements have the same parent. There are numerous other axes that are not listed here. Each XPath expression is evaluated from a particular node, which is referred to as the context node or simply context. A context node is the node at which the language processor is currently focused. Languages like XSLT change context as a document hierarchy is traversed and XPath expressions are evaluated from that particular context node. XPath supports standard logical operators such as AND and OR, comparison operators such as equal, not equal, less than, and greater than, and numerical operators such as plus, minus, and asterisk. Many automation tools and programming languages enable you to select XML nodes using XPath syntax. An XPath expression contains two types of syntax, a path syntax and a predicate syntax. XPath path syntax specifies which nodes to inspect in terms of their path locations on one of the axes in the document's hierarchy. You identify the XML node to access by specifying each level of the node's location in the XML hierarchy, separating each hierarchy level using a forward slash. The method is similar to the way you specify the path to a specific file system directory on a Unix host. The XPath example references the encrypted password element. Because the XPath starts from the root of the hierarchy or slash, which is a document node, it is called an absolute path. XML also supports using relative paths or paths originating from the node you are currently examining. For example, if you are currently at the configuration node and want to access the root password data within the encrypted password element, you could specify an XPath of system slash root authentication slash encrypted password. 
If a Junos OS automation script is already examining the configuration slash system node, you can identify data directly below that XML hierarchy level using a relative path, like root authentication slash encrypted password. You can also refer to a parent node by using dot dot slash notation. Sometimes there is more than one element at the same hierarchy level with the same name. For example, in the XML output displayed, there are two user accounts. If you want to retrieve the lab user ID or UID value, and you specify an X path of system slash login slash user slash UID, you cannot be assured of getting the correct user information because there is more than one user ID in the XML document. XPath predicate syntax enables you to perform tests for each node selected by the XPath path syntax. Only nodes that pass the test are included in a result set. A predicate appears inside square brackets following a path node. Using the given example, to specify that you want the user whose name is lab, specify the name in square brackets following the user element. The syntax tells XPath to look for a user element called name with a value of lab. Use an at symbol to retrieve the contents of an attribute. Attributes are the variables or name slash value pairs that appear within an opening XML tag. The first example shows a name as a hierarchical element. The second example shows a name as an element attribute and how to use an XPath expression to access the attribute. There are two important XML attributes that are commonly used in commit scripts to validate configuration changes before they are applied. Commit scripts are processed during a device commit operation. The candidate configuration in XML format is used by a commit script as input. In the XML candidate configuration, the Junos colon changed attribute is attached to element nodes that have changed compared to current active configuration. The example describes using XPath syntax to match on those attributes.